as much as I don't like thinking about the day Eyes 1 disbands, I feel like we should just accept that that day will come. So it's only natural wondering and speculating on what each of the girls will do after. I've seen lots of videos like these and I wanted to make one as well to express my opinions. Now let's start. I am almost 100% sure our Macnees will be part of the new Starship's girl group, unless they decided to change agency or something like that. But it's unlikely since Starship is one of the most important companies out there and Eugene and Wanayong are very relevant in the company. They're their most famous trainees and they literally became the representative trainees of the company. Anyway, I think Wanayong will become the group's center because of her undeniably center material quality that many people like to discredit. But she literally has it all to be a perfect center. The visuals, the dancing, her facial expressions and her height that makes her stand out. I would personally like to see her rapping as well, since I enjoyed her rap parts in Ice One songs, even if they weren't that many. As for Eugen, I think she'll become the face of the group since she has incredible variety skills and a personality that just captivates everyone. She will definitely be the lead, or even the main vocalist, but she will also be part of the dance line and she will probably rap sometimes too since she is such an all-rounder. On to Sakura, in my opinion, out of the J-line she is the one who is most likely to go back to a KB. If she goes back she will be the most famous member and she'll become like an idol to the other girls. Plus J-pop artists get paid much more than K-pop artists. So if you have the luck of being one of the most famous idols in Japan, why would you throw it all away? She already has a secure career, so I see her eventually going back to Japan. Honestly I feel like Yuri is very likely to debut as a soloist. If she goes solo I believe that with her voice she will become one of the most loved female soloists of the next generation. She could be the next OST and ballad queen. But since her dancing is not bad at all I would also like seeing her performing more powerful songs with the choreo. She would definitely fit different concepts as well. From cute, to elegant, to powerful as she has a very versatile voice and image. On one hand Yuna joining Everglow just makes sense. We all know she would have debuted with them if she didn't make it into Eyes 1. Plus Everglow's choreos are supposedly meant for 7 people. Same as the line distribution where part of Mia's lines will be given to Yuna. Talent-wise, Yuna could also make a good soloist. But not personality-wise. She's a people's person. Someone who shines the brightest when she's surrounded by people. Plus, if she joins Everglow she will benefit from Everglow's international fame and Everglow will benefit from Yuna's domestic fame. So it's a win-win for both parts. But anyway, if she joins Everglow I'm guessing she would become lead dancer, lead rapper and either lead or main vocalist. Unlike Sakura, I have a feeling these two will join a Korean company, maybe the same one and they could debut together, but even if they end up in different companies, I totally see them staying in Korea since, unfortunately, they aren't as famous as Sakura, especially Hitomi, so going back to Japan will probably not be favorable. Anyway in an hypothetical future group, Nako could be a lead vocalist and Hitomi a lead dancer. This may be unpopular but I wouldn't mind Yoon be joining Rocket Punch. Rocket Punch doesn't have a cute concept, it's Teen Crush, and Eyes 1 have sometimes done concepts that are way cuter than what Rocket Punch has done, and Yoon has always fit them very well. So I think she would actually fit Rocket Punch's concept, speaking about the age gap between her and the other members, I would just like to point out idols such as Mia of GWSN, and Irene of Red Velvet, who are way older than the other members and they still thrive in their groups. I would like Yoon B to join Rocket Punch and also debut as a soloist on the side, such as Shiny's team for example. Anyway, Rocket Punch doesn't have fixed positions, but if she joins she would probably be the unofficial main dancer and lead vocalist and she might also become the leader, even if the current leader Yoon Hee is such an amazing leader. However Yoon B has a natural leadership that everyone recognizes and if she went solo, this amazing quality she has will go to waste. Since we're on the topic of Rocket Punch, I really think Chair One is going to join. I don't know but she just fits perfectly in every single thing the group has done. Furthermore you cannot deny the chemistry she has with the members. So why wouldn't she join them? In Rocket Punch she will become the unofficial main vocalist and, because her singing is so amazing, I really wish she will sing many OSDs and also get a solo debut. In my opinion Hyoin's company, 8D Creative, is preparing to debut her in a girl group along other trainees who appeared on Produce and signed with 8D. Hyoin is undoubtedly suited to be a model or an actress as well, so I think her schedules will be split between the group activities and her solo activities, just like Chaeyeon of Daya for example. Anyway I'm really looking forward to seeing Hyoin in a group because she is constantly improving and I definitely want to see how she will shine on stage in the future. Mintu is the member I am most worried about not seeing on stage ever again. Urban Works is a company that usually doesn't deal with idols but with actors and models. I really don't think they're planning on forming a girl group. So I think Minju will just follow the acting and modeling path and she will probably also be an MC at music shows and stuff like that. I am really hoping that she will still get to perform on stage though. Maybe along her friend and label mate Grisha Chu. Pre-debut, Minju used to play guitar for her during their performances and she also featured in one of her songs. So I really hope they will form a duo and if not, I hope Minju will sometimes perform with her. Because she is such a talented and dedicated girl that can do anything and it would sadden me a lot not being able to hear her rapping and singing or seeing her dancing ever again. Last but definitely not least we have Cheyun. She is part of a pre-debut group under her label WM Entertainment and I really think she will debut with them. If you look at their dance covers, you can see how talented they are and how much chemistry they have as a group. I believe Cheyun is also the teen leader, so once they debut I think this will be her official role. She will most likely also be the main dancer and the lead vocalist. 
if not main. What I wish is for her to also have a solo career on the side, just like you are from Oh My Girl who is also under WM Entertainment. I know everyone would want you to become the next big soloist like Chung Ha, but Chung Ha herself said that being a soloist is hard because when things get hard you don't have your bandmates around and you can also start feeling quite lonely. So the best thing would be for Chet to join the group and also have the chance to debut as a soloist, which will most likely happen judging from her talents and her popularity. At the end of the day, whatever happens, I hope we can all support the girls in their future groups, in their solo careers and in all of their other activities, although Eyes One will not last forever, in our hearts they will be forever together and I am really excited to see what the future holds for them. Anyway, thanks for watching, bye.